Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 486. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and welcome to the first show to the new year. Hello. Happy New Year to you guys. And, well, we got some news for you this week. Let's hop right into it. First news is... My Little Pony... Gen- sorry, My Little Pony Generation 5 Android 8-inch tablet appears. Uh, let's see... Ponyfy everything is apparently the goal of this generation because Hasbro is going all out this time with full sorry um this time with a full on G5 Android tablet listed by a company called Touchmate. The device comes uh, the device comes stock with Android 10 with some pretty basic stuff including 2 gigabyte of RAMs and a 1.3 gigahertz quad core Intel processor. It's definitely not going to be running anything you throw at it with a pretty hefty $160 price tag. It does include a case, though. Uh, find some pictures below. All right, all right. So, one of the few things that uh, G5 is doing is pretty interesting. Um, they're putting in a lot of advertising, marketing, advertising mar- stuff. Like we, in G4, we didn't really get all of this um, stuff. So let's let's take a look. See, um, the tablet itself is generic at best. It's one of those simple tablets that can do the essential. Um, surf the web, play music and whatnot. Um judging from this one, it's just a My Little Pony skin. Uh the background, the casing and so on, including the back of the case where it has some pony art on it. Which is cool, which is cool. Um you if I, I'm guessing if this doesn't have any parental control you can use it as a normal tablet. But if there is, um you have to kind of do stuff with it. But overall, um this is okay. This is this is just a uh, little team your little uh, tiny Tina's first tablet for a um <laughs> but judging by how days um how the days goes on now, um kids at five already have iPads or iPhones. And we're not talking about the uh, 6 or 7 variety. We're talking about the 12 or 13. Which is scary. Oy. I only have a 8 right now. And that's from when. But, um, overall, um, Little Kids First Tablet is cool. And yeah, um, what a good way to start. If you're a kid that loves ponies and wants uh, a, what you call this, tablet this is the way to go but in all honesty mm, better get something more robust but let's take a look see let's take a look see what we have inside a uh, mini tablet a case some accessories okay <clears throat> a tablet cover your phone user manual charger usb adapter we got no idea if it's a uh, type c or whatnot uh, OTG cable. Um, I got no idea what that is. And a screen protector. Oh my god. The screen protector is here. Where is it? <laughs> but uh, this looks like a serviceable phone. Oh, sorry. A tablet. It looks great. For the price of 160 I feel like you can get better. Oh, sorry. Mm, but yeah, um... Little Kids First Tablet, it's okay. It's serviceable. It's serviceable. Let's move on to the next one. So, Russian G5 juice box marking calls the new cast main 6 with Sprout included. So, originally this was slated for a random merge and I popped that poll up this morning for Sprout but I figure we could split that off since... A few people have sent it to the submit box. 
this is probably just a random Instagram marketing person pop, uh, popping a product up without much research but let's spec uh, speculate anyway shall we in the description over on Instagram they write bring a uh, bright packing with six main and most beloved characters of the My Little Pony universe Hitch, Zip, Pip, Easy, Sprout and Sunny calling out Sprout as part of the new main six would this be something you all would except for the upcoming series and specials is Sprout a good enough character to join the main cast uh, main cast as a pony we will regularly see in the future the poll is already okay so <clears throat> nothing new here um it's just um juice box with flavors i got no idea the russian uh, we can see pictures so i think this is green apple a grape, peach, something, orange, and mango. Um, so I, I think the the key the, the the key news here is Sprout is considered to be part of the main six. Um, do I agree or not? That has to come later for the series. Um, what I mean by that is we have to wait and see what they have planned for Sprout. Um, one of the few things that we've experienced or we learned is that uh, there's always the redemption of a character in G. Uh, sorry, in the first season of G Four, we had Nightmare Moon slash Princess Luna, and then in season two, probably Gilda. <laughs> no, that, that's later on. But um, one of the few that I can remember is. Um, Sunset Shimmer, and then Twilight Starlight Glimmer, and then uh, Gilda. Uh, who else? Those are, those are the few that I can think of. So, um, all in all, the redemption arc for a character has always been there with ponies. So, with Sprout here, I mean, he is evil, um, or, or in the movie he was portrayed evilly, so there's no doubt there. So the redemption for his, uh, sorry, the redemption arc for this character has to be really great. So we all we, we know that we have four specials on the way, and a twenty six se episode season. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, there's a lot of things that we can. Extract, um, extract from this news but the key point is that we'll have to wait and see what they do with Sprout which is going to be very interesting um, his popularity is not as high as some of the main five here but who knows maybe he have a change of heart he'd be better and some fans will like him one of the few things that I think people don't really like Sprout is because, well, um, sexist to say, um, Sprout is not a female character. Uh, most of the female redemption character we had was Sunset Shimmer, um, Star Glimmer, Trixie. Who else? Um, not the Flim Flam. They, they never. But you get the general idea. Most of them are female characters and um, the fandom go gaga over them. So we have to wait and see how Sprout is. If not, he'll just be there. So moving on to the next news. KFC in Indonesia is apparently getting some Generation 5 pony for their kid meal. Mm, okay. Over in Indonesia, KFC runs kids meal with the usual fast food quality toys you expect to find from other chains. A post over on their Twitter page is hinting at some G5 My Little Pony love in the future as you can see in the screenshot above and later follow up tweet showing uh, of the full main cast here. Uh, early 2022 
is when we can expect to see what they have cooked up. Hopefully this, sorry, they migrate this guys elsewhere if they end up actually being high quality. So, mm, okay, let's see. Okay, um, teaser, KFC, okay, available early 2022. Uh, that could be in January, so yep. Uh, collect the sparkle soon. Okay, uh, G5 Pony Toys, so... Uh, hmm, I, I'm trying to remember what KFC does most of the time. Like, I, I remember that they... Um, over here in Malaysia anyway, they um, don't really have much in terms of toys. They do have, but I, I don't really remember. Like, nothing stands out in my mind. So, they probably have something cooked up. If not toys, it could be stationary and so on. Uh, collect. So probably they're going to be having some kind of figures, uh, books, pencil cases, so on. I mean, for me, I feel like that's a KFC's MO. So we'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait. I mean, uh, we just entered the new year and we'll have to wait and see. Okay, last news for the week is fan art being stolen and turned into NFTs. How to find your art and report it. <clears throat> uh, with the rise of NFT, non-fungible tokens, there has been an increase in art theft as of late, where unscrupulous companies are taking fan art from not only our fandom but others and my, uh, minting them into these tokens for sale. Art websites like DeviantArt have implemented a system to check for those theft of art of NFTs but only covers a small part of our fandom and not every theft is seen so we're putting out a general PSA on one website in particular that has been driving a fair number of these thefts. OpenSea, it's, sorry, OpenSea is that website in particular and have been seeing its name make the rounds around Twitter. If you're an artist, it would be worth checking the site to see if they have <sighs> sorry, um, have taken any of your work without permission and reporting it. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. I, I guess here are some of the few steps you can do. And then, um, yep, yep. I, I'm just going to let you guys read through this on your own. But yeah, um, this this is just crap. Yep. The idea of NFTs in the first place. Okay, I may be old. I may be, uh, how do I put this? Not up to date with what the kids want. And honestly. NFTs and uh, crypto coins are a foreign concept for me. I know some of you might want to, oh, sorry, I, I know some of you might care to explain to me this is how it works, blah, 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 but I asked this to a friend of mine who is kind of, sorry, uh, who is kind of deep into the whole system of the mining and whatnot. So, when I ask, okay, so when you mine the coins, you're kind of digging in a, mm, let's just say a mine, my mining, whatever it is. So there's a set amount of coins to collect. So if you have one of the biggest, or if you're one of the few early adopters, you have the biggest uh, quote-unquote um, rig or so on okay now uh, let's say you want to cash out so who's paying you for the money and all they can tell me is that the system is paying you for that but when I tried when I asked them to elaborate they couldn't they say it's just the system so you're telling me that Somebody out there is just going to give you money. And 
I, I know there's, a, there's more to it than that, but it's just the thought of, okay, I do this, and somebody is just, quote-unquote, giving it to me. I mean, it doesn't sound, it sounds like a scam. And also with NFTs, NFT is a huge scam. Like, they're selling art, but you don't own the art, you just own the receipt for the art. And I mean, how, <laughs> it feels silly. I mean, I'm really showing my age here, but it's, I mean, it's just silly all over, all around. And if if you're one of the lucky few early adopters who got rich off it, that's awesome on you guys. But I still don't get it, man. All right, okay, let's let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. So, <clears throat> let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my week or year? So, what have I been doing? With my week has been uh, pretty simple. Um, I spent Christmas with friends and family. Didn't really do much. Just stayed home, played a few games, um, chat with few friends and whatnot so uh, that's cool uh, what did I got for Christmas if you're asking hmm that is a good question um, I guess I got mm, if I can't find the box I think it's over here all right um, I'm I'm trying to remember if I got this as a Christmas present or a birthday present because I think it could be a birthday present Huh. Oh no, no, no. It's definitely a Christmas present. So I got, oh my god, a earbuds. Yay! My previous earbuds were whack and they kind of got destroyed. So <laughs> a friend of mine got me this, so I'm, I'm really thankful. It's serviceable, so that's cool. So yeah, um, that's about my Christmas present. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, as for the week, played some Magic the Gathering with some friends before the New Year. I think that was on the 31st, was it? No, 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 30th. The 30th, the day before New Year's Eve. So played a bit with friends, had a lot of fun, and then went home. Uh, that's about it, really. Hoping to change some excitement for the New Year. You know, because it's the new year and whatnot. So yeah, gonna, gonna see how that feels or how that, how how that's planning out. So let's wrap things up. Let's wrap things up. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitch Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links will be in the show notes. Also do uh, subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitch Radio for the Review and Discussion Podcast. Over there you'll catch me, Totera, Silver sometimes, probably guests, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, specials, movies. And sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies. And those could be cartoons, animes, comics, mangas, movies, video games. So, yeah, um, do catch up, uh, do, do subscribe to that too, because it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MPS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. And I hope you guys... Everyone, I hope every one of you guys have a really awesome start to the new year and all your resolutions come true. If you don't have any resolutions, I just hope you have a really awesome start to the new year. I know we all could use some positivity in our life and I'm going to try and bring some. I'm going to bring on the thunder. Yeah. 
<laughs> so anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya!